but it's Friday now and I'm editing my video. I realised I've got bits from different days and I've just kind of left it unfinished at the moment. It looks like I've just been playing Catan and not much else, which isn't really true, but I've just been, you know, revising and things, so it's not much to record. I also realised I had a, just a bit of footage from when we were moving out and I haven't really done anything with it, but I thought it'd be a shame to waste it. So I'm going to put this here now. I've put a little tour of the house in there. We might want to look back on that one day, I thought. It's just nice to see all parts of the house. Just things like that. Um, and then there's just a few clips from each day throughout my week. Lisa, you look great not looking at the camera. Lissy, smile. Marvel real. George, you aren't even visible in this picture. <laughs> what you were just doing then? Just Emma's leg. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye, George. Goodbye, friends. Bye. We'll miss you in your home in the crazy house. Bye. He's very good. bye, Tom. Oh. Love you too, Tom. I'm packing up all my stuff. Most of you just been in here to see that apparently putting all your stuff in one big box is not the best way forward. I think it's really unreasonable of gravity to make this difficult for me. But generally, things are basically gone. It's my last night in the house. Um, there was talk of the sleepover idea that Emma mentioned in her video, but it didn't happen, we're already tired, so it wouldn't be much of a sleepover, it would just be sleeping in a less comfy place in our beds. I'm filming this way because I'm so used to looking at this like view from my bed and it's just not the same. I don't really know what to say about it being my last night. I've kind of been trying to put off going to bed. Now what I'm trying to say... I don't know what I'm trying to say feel like I should have something to say on my last night and it would be nice to record something, which is what I'm doing. I'm kind of sat here waiting for these great words to come out and I don't think they're going to, I'm just getting tired of. It's the day I'm moving out. I've just been to take my bike around to Cassie's so I have somewhere to put it. And you can tell that I've packed all my things, including makeup remover, so I've just got last night's makeup smeared and anything else that involves cleaning. much since I got back. Uh, I haven't really done much. It's mainly been sorting out all my stuff. No, that's how I sorted it out. Jan sorted out all my stuff, doing a bit of revision. 
I have. Today I went for a run for the first time around here and what I've discovered is that there are a lot of hills and nettles and it's really bad. I miss York's flatness. Now uh, you can tell I'm in the car because I'm going to skip to. We're playing Catan. I think I'm going to win. It's, it's early days, but I think there's no question. Hello! <laughs> I am king of Catan! What do you think Bow about Adam? Bow knees, you infidel small little people! <laughs> Adam, say some words. Hello. <laughs> I've got an impression of Adam. <laughs> do you like it? No. We've played Catan for the three third, nil, yeah, the third time. I think two out of the three times I've been like one go away from winning. But uh, I have won instead, because I am a king of Catan. The fourth yeah. game of Catan we played. Ooh, ooh, we won another referendum! <laughs> and I won! <laughs> See, I've got this nice kind of... Ooh. This is hard. Ooh, nice and road. Ooh, this is like the longest road I think you'll find. And then... Ooh, ooh, I have two victory points! <laughs> and when George is here, we can all beat George. I've allowed my serfs to take a victory for one to keep them entertained. What have you got to say to that, Adam? No. It's Tuesday now. It's weird that it's nearly a week since we moved out. We watched Emma's video earlier and she said how she got her full deposit back and I was like, oh, I haven't heard about mine. I got the letter today and I've lost a hundred pounds for my bed frame. Yeah, I watched Emma's vlog, liked Emma's vlog, liked the bit where she said she penis seven inches. Message anxiety lies is probably quite a good one for me right now. Hopefully by the time this is uploaded it's better, but I don't know, it's been quite bad since we got back. And I'm meant to be revising for my reset, obviously, and I cannot do anything. Um, George is coming tomorrow though, I'm going to Leeds, so there might be a bit more happening in the vlogs by then. I've just been like trying to revise and staying in the house, watching some Oranges the New Black, so I look a bit, because I just haven't been anywhere, um, Neil wants me to go and run with him in a bit, so I don't want to like shower yet. Wherever you go out of my house, there is a hill. I can't think of a route I can go where there isn't a hill. I've been running, as you can probably tell by my out of breathness. And I thought I was doing really well. Just realised the whole place I was going, don't know if you can see, but it's like I went downhill. I came opposite to this way. And looking now, that's quite a significant hill. So as soon as I tried to go up it, I've just had to stop. You can tell I wasn't actually born in Yorkshire, can't you? The biggest army thing uh, and, and, <laughs> and these things, what are the, I've just got too many of these things. Uh, and these things, do, do you need to have lots of these to win? You didn't seem to have many of these, I'm not sure why. Um, I missed the longest road thing that you were, you were playing around with. Uh, why, why didn't you realise it? My army walks on your road, tramples all over your road. Um, ah, where's Watson? Ah, he'll need Sherlock Holmes to win at this game from us. <laughs> it's Wednesday today, um, so I'm going to Leeds and I'm meeting George at the train station. But before that, I've got to do some shopping. Uh, I've been feeling like really anxious, and I still do, for the past few days. Remember when I was kind of panicking about packing and tidying, and I was like, Phew. it's kind of like I haven't stopped the feeling for a week now. But I've kind of just been mooching around the house, and I'm hoping going out today, and I've put makeup on, and I'm feeling like nicer about myself, will help. <laughs> Enthusiastic about my present. Oh, we just played a bit of Catan. I won. Oh, it's dark. Yeah. Oh. I won. George did win, despite the fact that he was coming down with a migraine. And I won by a landslide as well. But George is getting a migraine, so he's in bed now. So I just told him a story about a cat called Trebethany. 
<laughs> called that because um, the cat was born with two sisters, but they died. So there was three of them, and that's the trubbit. And the little girl who runs the cat's called Bethany. I um, wanted to name it after <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so she called it Trebethany. They also have a dog called Houndrel, and they go to the fun fair, and it was a great time. And I think George is feeling much better now. I was just saying how if Maria were an author, she'd be Joyce because she just spews words onto the page with no idea of like correct use of the English language. <laughs> Making sense is a constraint too far for Maria. And she doesn't believe in constraint writing. He's so mean to me. Oh, now he's hugging my leg. But yeah, I think my story made him feel better. Uh, today, George and I are going into Keithley. We've just been to the doctors for me. We had to wait for like, an hour. We just ate a packet of bugles and I'm just putting out there in the world they are great. They are great. The cheese ones, like these aren't the cheese ones, we've had the cheese ones, they're not too cheesy. Like cheese things scare me but those are not too cheesy, they're great. And then these are the barbecue ones, southern star barbecue and they're very good and we don't want them to disappear because they're new. So buy bugles everybody. Yeah, everybody buy bugles. We're on our way back from Keithley now. We went for a bit of an explore. Yeah, it was lovely. George wrote to see it, so I showed him it. <laughs> it's Adam's birthday tomorrow, so I got him a balloon. Got lots of sun cream, because George and I are pale, pale people, and want to retain our skin health. Wear sun cream, kids. I've applied for a job, and George and I are having a little read. I'm reading this very intellectual book. I'm reading The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. I also realised I'd left it unended here, so I'll say not good night, friends, and say how George and I are going to pack today, do some nice things for Adam's birthday maybe, and then tomorrow morning our flight is at 6.50, so we're off to Greece very early, and so I will see you all later. Feel the cheese now. The famous shoey, whatever it is. I'm starving to death now. I've got to get some food. No mealers. No respect for the vlogging. This is what we've got here. The people I were playing with are me! You're beautiful. This is a proper webcam shot, isn't it? Or 